We are here at the Royal Country Club of Long Grove. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to have a Ryder Cup themed uh, segment this time. So we are going to start with Don Larson, the chairman of the Ryder Cup committee. What kind of preparations are we looking at now, Don? First thing that we've done was uh, to start our sales and hospitality. And we started by going back to the people who supported Medina in the past for the past uh, PGAs, the 99 and 2006 PGAs, and had a tremendous response from Chicagoland business community. Uh, European communities have been involved and uh, we're very close to being sold out of all our co corporate hospitality. And um, it's been a very successful, very, very meaningful uh, event because of the fact that Everybody is so excited to come to a Ryder Cup. Uh, a Ryder Cup, according to the uh, networks that carry it, say that besides the World Cup and the Olympics, the Ryder Cup is the most viewed event in the world. Uh, there'll be millions of people all over the world watching the Ryder Cup and pulling for their team. Yeah. And we won't have to wake up at you know two or three in the morning no, you like won't. a couple of years ago we, we, we did in Wales. Mike Pachano, the... Um, head professional at, uh, at Bull Valley. Are you a Ryder Cup fan? Are you a guy who uh, would wake up early in the morning? I or, am, or, I yeah, am a huge fan, that. waking up bright and early. You know, my wife's like, why is the alarm going off this early <laughs> for you? And she just goes crazy, but uh, yeah, huge fan. Um, I have fellow PGA members all throughout the country that are calling me saying, hey, guy, room in your house, guy, got space, got space. So there's, there's a lot of interest in coming to Medina and coming to Chicago. I think it's what are you telling them? Are you renting out your rooms or is it It's uh, going to be pretty expensive. There's going to be, yeah, it's going to be pretty expensive. There's going to be a lot of mattress, air mattresses and, uh, and uh, sleeping bags, but it'll be fun. We'll have a good time. Yeah. Jamie Brighty, who's a pro here at, uh, at the club, um, do you think you'll be able to make it out to Medina at all? Are you going to be, you going to try to, you know, cancel the teaching lessons that day or what? Absolutely. No, and uh, as a, a, fortunately being a member of the Illinois PGA Board of Directors, uh, we're excited, obviously, being the host section for such a great event. And uh, I definitely will be out there and uh, using my, my duty as the a Board of Directors to uh, use whatever I can to be as close to the action as I can. So. Yeah. I'll definitely look forward to seeing that. Mike, who are some American golfers that you particularly enjoy watching when you're, uh, when you're taking a break from teaching? Uh, Dustin Johnson, I think, is great. Um, given all that he's been through to come back and, and, and keep fighting and going, I think that's gigantic. Uh, Ricky Fowler's fun just because he's young, exuberant. Um, you know, I like some of the European guys a little bit, too. I mean, Rory McIlroy, I think, is fun yeah. to watch. You know, there's, there's a lot of great golf, whether it's American or European side. So I think it'll be a fun day at uh, Medina anyways just to watch the great golf that's going to be played, period. Well, given that it's Chicago, we can't make a lot of weather guarantees, but you think we're pretty confident that the weather is not going to be as bad as it was in Wales? You were showing me some pictures of having walked around in Wales and uh, a lot of mud on those shoes and pants. That experience, uh, unfortunately, that's the part that stands out most from the Wales experience? Yes, uh, the weather obviously is something that nobody can, can control at all. I, I don't see anything more deflating than these people who run events and get them washed out, yeah. uh, have to make arrangements for, for weather, for the golf course. It's, it's really a deflating experience and if you have perfect weather and everybody's happy, uh, it'll be a tremendous event. How do you think Davis is going to want to set up the course? What, will he have sort of a signature in terms of either the rough or the greens or any of the holes that you think? We haven't uh, really discussed that quite yet. Uh, I think it'll be determined more so when it gets a little closer and he sees the strength of the players who are on the team. Yeah. You know, going all the way back to um, the, uh, the Belfry, when the Europeans put fairway uh, stop the fairway and put rough right in the middle of the fairway yeah. to keep the long bombers from hitting, yeah. which was, I don't know if that you'd call that good sportsmanship, yeah. but they did it, and that's prerogative of the captain to set the course up. So I think it'll be determined a little closer to see where the strength of the players are. Yeah. It's like Seve, they said, had a faster golf cart than his American captain, and then he would even have some of the greens mowed during the day, yes. during the round, yes. but, but would only tell his players about that. Right. Oh, that's pretty good gamesmanship, isn't it? Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Thank you.